Hi everyone and welcome back to day two of my Vlogmas. Today, as you can see below, is going to be my November favourites. Um, just so you guys know, my Vlogmas isn't going to be an everyday vlog. I wish it was, but sadly because I work five days a week, it would be a little, a little bit boring, I think. Um, just me in the morning going, hi, I'm going to work now, hi, I'm on my break. You know, so I thought I would mix it up and do a um you know, a bit of a mix between vlogs and my days off, and maybe I might do a couple of days at work, and then um, normal videos like this. So, anyway, back to my favourites. This month has been crazily mixed for me. I have liked a bit of beauty, a little bit of fashion, not so much, but it's just been such a busy month getting ready because I work part in retail. Getting ready for Christmas has just been like, oh my gosh! And also, any of my spare money has gone on Christmas presents rather than presents for me. Um, well, I've bought a few things, but you know what I mean. Um, this month I've got quite a few beauty favourites, so I'm going to start with those as per normal. Um, as usual, I'm going to be showing things in my in my favourites that I might have shown in the favourites before. I do repeat on my channel, so if I've liked something and I've liked it again, I'm generally going to show you, because I think that's quite a true showing of what your favourites are in my opinion. If you don't like that, then please let me know, and if you'd just like to see new things on here also, let me know. But anyway, Stop blabbering, let's get into the video. The first beauty favourite that I have been loving is this. It is a new thing for me, and I know I'm way, way off on this. Everybody's been raving about the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish for ever, I feel like. It's been in every magazine, it's been on every single vlog, every single blog, um, and I've just cottoned onto it. I bought the 50ml, it comes in this little tin um, for Christmas time actually, and it's a limited edition. It's £9, which I think is an amazing you know, value, because how great is that for travel, rather than having a full 100ml? Amazing, and it comes with one muslin cloth that I'm holding onto for dear life. But anyway, this is amazing. I've used it um, for a week now. Uh, I don't know how much I have left, but anyway, I've used it for a week and the smell is incredible. I thought it was peppermint the first time I smelt it, um, but it's the eucalyptus and it's just so like woo, warming and it makes my skin feel really soft and with the muslin cloth I feel like I'm exfoliating my skin but not really harshly. And yeah, it's just a great product that I would really recommend and that I've been loving. So yeah, it's a little review and a little favourite all in one. Next are two oldies, but very much goodies. Um, one is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. I have mine in the original formula um, with the SPF 20. And also I have been loving the Lasting Perfection Collection Concealer, the thing that everybody loves. Um, and I've been liking it in Cool Medium, which is number two. I go through love and hate things with this concealer. Um, I know a couple of people use it under their eyes. I find it way too heavy for that, so I don't use that at all. And plus the colouring. I am two in the winter and I'm number three in the summer so um, I find it really awkward in that transition time I just I don't like it when it's like autumn rather than winter because my skin is like I'm not quite a two yet I'm more of a three and you think why don't you mix them but they're so like I'm blabbing I can't really mix them very well but I'll stop talking now. And the last beauty favourite is actually a fragrance, and it is this. I think you might have seen this in a favourites before. This is Balmain Ecstatic, and I had this, or I bought this, or I didn't buy it actually, I was given it as an incentive, so for reaching my target at work. I got this um, back in maybe June time, I think, and it came already with some down, but I've just rediscovered the smell. I just love it, absolutely. It's really, really sweet. Um, oh, it says in the back. Now, this is good. It has, now, let me find the English. Now, the top notes, here we go, are Nashi, I don't know what that is, um, Crystalline Rose, and Osmanthus. The heart notes are Night Jasmine, a Shari Baby Orchid, and Oris. And the base notes are Amorous Wood and Cashmere Wood, and Berenia Leather. Oh, I'd never have thought that, but you know, it's a lovely fragrance, and if you get a chance to smell it, definitely do, um, if you like a sweet fragrance that is. My next favourite is actually a, or was a present, last Christmas from my boyfriend, and um, he bought us tickets to go to Harry Potter, I say Harry Potter World, but technically it is the making of Harry Potter, and this is in Watford in London, it's the London one, not the um, one in Florida. 
obviously, um, and it was amazing. It was so good. We didn't go until, well, he bought it for me last Christmas, and then because of work and all different things, we really wanted to go and see Harry Potter at Christmas time, you know, with all the snow and things, but we didn't manage to do it last year, and then we've been holding off and holding off and holding off booking again, and then all of a sudden they announced it was gonna be Harry Potter Christmas again this year. So we booked it, and we went last Friday, I think it was. Um, and it was amazing. I am the biggest Harry Potter fan ever. I've got all the books, all the, um, what are they called? All the, I don't know, I couldn't think of the word films, but all of the films. And um, I'm very much an audiobook person. I have got every single audiobook and I listen to them on repeat. Um, I am the sort of person that if you look at my iTunes best played, 25 most played, it will be Harry Potter chapter three, Harry Potter chapter five, rather than, you know, music. So when people come around to mine um, for like a party or for drinks and things, you get Harry Potter on my iPod rather than um, some cool stuff. But anyway, Harry Potter, I've been loving it this month and got right back into it and it always, always makes me think of Christmas. I'm not really sure why, but yeah, I love it. So, and also thank you Joe, for buying us the tickets. It was awesome, awesome. The next favorite is a fashion favorite and that is these. And they're a pair of jeans. I um, broke, randomly, my last pair of jeans. I had, these are Topshop jeans by the way. I broke my last pair of jeans. Basically I wore them too much and I wore out this inner bit of the leg, which is a bit gross really, I guess, but I had them for like two years, so yeah, hey hey. Um, these are Jamie jeans. And finally, I found a pair of Jamie jeans that I like the color of. These are like a really dark, they call them a vintage wash. I'd just say they're dark blue. Um, and I got them in a 28 inch waist and a 32 leg, which is big on all parts for me. Um, but I like the bit of extra breathing room. I like the extra length so I can put them in boots. So yeah, just the perfect jean um, for the moment. I've just been really, really liking them and wore them with, obviously wear them with turn ups because I'm, so, uh, I'm so short. Um, I wear them with turn ups if I'm wearing them with like shoes if that makes sense. My last favorite, I don't know if any of you guys have noticed as I've been moving my hair, but I'm no longer a mermaid. I cut my hair, but that's gonna be coming in a, another video. Um, so hold out for another um, Vlogmas video. But a favorite of mine, I've got curly hair today. This is just bed hair, so I washed my hair, went to bed with it wet, and this is what I ended with. Um, but a favorite of mine have been my GHDs. I bought these, um, oh, gosh, last summer, I think, early last summer, and I thought, oh gosh, I don't really wanna spend all that money on straighteners, but the ones I'd had since I was about 14 had exploded, no word of a lie. Um, and so I had to buy some new ones, and I got these. I don't know what they are. I'm not really into straighteners, because I, I don't really use them very much until I had my hair cut short. Because my hair was so long, it just took so much time to keep it to get it straight, and then to keep it straight was just insane, and it was so dry at the bottom, I didn't really want to do it very often. Um, but at the moment, I've been kind of going between straight and curly hair um, every other day, really, so yeah, I've been really, really enjoying them. I think they are, now let me see, they're a model number, GHD 5.0, Jamela, Jamela Limited, I think they were a gold or something. I don't know. They're about a, they're a year old. They've got gold plates and they're about a hundred odd pounds, I think. But I've been loving them. Whatever. <laughs> I've been loving them. And that is it. That is all of my favourites for November. Not an awful lot, um, but you know, November's a bit of a well, I don't want to call it a nothing month, but it's a bit of a strange month, isn't it? Coming really into winter and then you're getting into Christmas and it's all a bit like, oh, crazy. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope it wasn't too rambly. And um, well done. You've made it through Vlogmas Day 2. Um, keep a lookout for Vlogmas tomorrow. And um, have a look on my Instagram and Twitter and I'll be keeping you guys updated of when I have uploaded. And yeah, I'll speak to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Lots of love.